So we're going to start with a hip flexor uh, stretch and mobility just to release off so we're opening in that area. So what we're going to do first of all is just grab something to put under the knee just to make it a bit more comfortable. And then just come into a kind of lunge position. So what we're going to do is we're going to tuck under here, so try not to go off to one side. So if you're quite tight in here, what might happen is you sort of go off to the side. I want you to tuck under so you're tucking your bottom under and you're moving forward very slightly and get a little bit of a stretch there. And I want you to release that and just drop forward. Don't force anything, be gentle. Come back, tuck the bottom under. And then release and drop forward. So you'll tuck, release, drop. But in your own rhythm, it doesn't need to be fast. Take a nice few slow deep breaths. Ease into it, tuck under. And if you want to, as you tuck under, you could straighten that front leg, push your heel away. Depends what your balance is like. So you get a little bit more of a stretch. You get a little bit in the hamstring as well. Okay, tuck. And then just stay here. See if you can get that back leg off the ground and just flex and point the toes. If you've got something you want to lean on something, you can always use a chair to lean on or put your hand on the wall, don't lean the wall. And release. Let's do the other side then. So, coming up. Tuck under. Again, make sure you're not going off to the side. So tuck under, release, drop forward. Come back, tuck under, release, drop forward. As I said before, you can push into the front heel, straighten that leg. So tuck under, straighten the leg if you want to, it's up to you. Squeeze though if you can. 
So as you exhale, lift up through your core, pull your ribcage down at the front so you're lifting your heart and lift your arms. Relax down, breathe in. So the exhale is the lift of the core and the float of the arms. In exhale, it's going up, inhale is coming down. So as you breathe in, you can release off through the core. As you exhale, we're going to engage the core. And I want you to really keep those hips pushed forward. So squeeze that bottom, push down into your knees. Remember, you're pushing the hips forward, not arching the back, so your ribcage stays down. So nice and tight through the front here. So you should really feel your glutes are working as well as your core. Come down onto all fours. So you're going to make sure that the heel of your hand is under your shoulder blade. Tighten, draw your shoulder blades together, rib cage tucked in. So we've got a nice long spine. So we're avoiding rounding or dropping. Nice and long. From there, we're going to lift up through the pelvic floor and the core. Now I want you to keep your foot on the floor and I want you to keep your hips still. That's the bit that's difficult, yeah? So we could do this. But that is what we're avoiding. So as you lift up through your pelvic floor on your core, squeeze your bottom, keep your left foot on the floor and try and slide your left knee out. Yeah, so if I show you from this angle, you're taking that leg out. But what you're avoiding is this shift of weight. So as you exhale, lift up through your core, squeeze your bottom, Keep your foot forward, just stay on the left leg. Don't go too high, this is where people go wrong. They lift too high and then they round and roll the hips. Keep your hips level, don't worry about how far you go. So it may be that you only do a very small movement, but I want you to feel it around into the glutes. I'm gonna try and do about 10 or 12 of these. So inhale to prepare. Exhale, engage your core, squeeze your bottom, slide your leg away, just like a clamp, but on all fours, and squeeze. So you should feel that you're working around here. And I'm going to try and do the same on the other leg. So tighten up through the core, squeeze your bottom, just do a small movement to start with. So remember you are trying to keep as still as possible. breathing rhythm. If you feel that this is really difficult, don't rush it. So don't get back here, breathe in and think, oh, I've got to go now because I'm breathing out. Just pause. Take a moment. Engage your core a little bit more, maybe. Squeeze your bottom a little bit more. And see if you can get that nice twist and release. Now, if you feel a lot of weight, which you probably will, if you're doing the right, you probably feel a lot of weight going into your right hand. Push a little bit more into your left. And you will get more sense of being balanced. And that may even make your core work a little bit harder for you. So push into the opposite hand, tighten around the shoulders, lift up through your core, squeeze that bottom. So there's a lot going on. It's not just, I'm going to lift my leg. Really make those muscles work for you. Again, we're trying to 
match what we did on the other side. So there's quite a lot of shoulder stability in here. So make sure those shoulder blades are drawn down together. It's not just about your glutes, is it? Because you're holding position. So you're holding good posture. So in this position, you need some shoulder stability because you have weight in your hands. If you felt that in your wrists, just release them off, just circle round. Okay, so we're going to try and keep our good posture on the floor. So again, this is quite handy if you have got uh, a towel because sometimes when we lay on the floor, people arch their back. So you might want to put something under this gap between um, ribs and hips. It might be that you want something there just to flatten out your back. You might not need that, it's up to you, but that is an option. So if you're here and you feel like this is really rounded, pushed into the floor, your tailbone's lifting, and you can't correct it, then perhaps put that towel just under that area. So what we're going to try and do now is lengthen through your spine. We've got the tip of the nose on the floor and the tailbone pointing towards the heels. We're going to try not to push this abdomen area down into the floor. So what we're going to try and do is lift up through the core, pull up through our centre, pull up through the back of the head, just draw your shoulder blades together slightly, and we're going to pull here to lift up. Now when we pull, we don't collapse. So we're trying not to compress. So this shouldn't lift, and this middle bit here shouldn't push down. So we're lifting up, this is not pushed into the ground, and this is still pointing tailbone towards my heels. So that's what we want to maintain. Make sure your feet are quite close together, good position to start, shoulders back. I think putting hands either here or here helps you to think about what is actually happening position-wise. Inhale to prepare, exhale, engage. Lengthen and pull from just into sort of this area, just below your ribcage into your lower back. Don't try and lift a long way, try and stay in good posture. Inhale to prepare, exhale, lengthen to lift. You should feel that core working. And in fact, you should feel your abdomen trying to draw away from the floor a little bit. our legs but you should be able to do this bit just with your back let's do one more for luck so we are going to add to it so what we're going to do first is another arm um, shoulder exercise so an arm movement shoulder exercise arms in this position so we've got the hands level with the ears, tip of the nose on the floor, just draw your shoulder blades into a good position so don't be all hunched up. Elbows need to be on the floor. Again, a nice length of spine posture wise. So this time we're going to pull the elbows down into the floor and towards our body. Don't get excited about getting to your body, your elbow has to stay on the floor. So inhale. Exhale, engage your core, pull your shoulder blades slightly together at the bottom of the shoulder blades. Push your elbows down into the floor and try and draw them towards your body. They don't need to touch your body. Now as you pull them in, try not to hunch your shoulders or arch your back at this stage. So we're looking for something happening tension around sort of the bottom and between 
the shoulder blades. Draw them in. Keep those elbows on the floor. It doesn't matter when you hit the mat. You don't have to go any further. You're just drawing towards your body. You don't need to touch it. Inhale to prepare. Keep them shoulder blades in a good position. Exhale. Elbows down. Draw in towards the body. I'm going to try and put those two together. So the first thing we're going to do is that, the bit we've just done. Remember you mustn't collapse here. So if you push down with your abdomen and your tailbone lifts, you've lost the technique. So we've got to keep that good technique. So we're going to lift up through the pelvic floor and the core. We're going to draw shoulder blades down slightly. We're going to pull them towards the body. And then we're going to lengthen and lift. So it's quite strong around the shoulders. So remember, keep them small. Don't get excited and try and do big movements. It's not important. Technique is more important. You can always make the movement bigger as you get better at it. So tighten around the shoulders. Lift up through your core. Exhale. Draw the elbows down towards the body first. Now take a small breath. Re-engage your core. You need more core for this second bit. And lengthen to lift. Pull where we did before below the rib cage. Keep that hip position. Let's try a few more. So remember, really get this nice and strong. If you're struggling on this one, you can squeeze your bottom a little bit. Get that core nice and strong. We're not trying to compress, we're trying to lengthen as we lift. Lengthen, lengthen. to help you. I'm going to try and work into the waist here, so not the leg or the glutes. So get yourself nicely lined up in a straight line. Think of your good posture that you have when you're standing and try and do the same on the floor. So try not to have your rib cage poking out, try not to have your tailbone back. Tailbone towards the heels, pulling up through the back of the head, rib cage down. We're going to start with a relaxed leg, so we're going to build up to 10. So I'm going to take you through the levels. You can change level at any point. As you exhale, you're going to lift up through your pelvic floor and your core. You're going to pull up through your centre and you're going to pull your hip up your body. And release up. Draw up and release. Can you see there's nothing going on here? I'm not pushing with my leg. I'm drawing up the body. So keep that going. Draw up the body. Pull it up. And release it off. So as you exhale, you lift up here. So you should feel this in the side of the waist and into the lower back. Draw it up and release enough. So you can see my hip is actually moving. 
I can feel it into my lower back. Now, if you want to make it harder, you make the top leg rigid. So if you do that, that leg's really stiff, and I pull, you get a slight lift. But you mustn't roll forward or over, yeah? So pull up. Don't try and lift your leg. Pull. So there's a little lift at the end. If you want to work even harder, make both legs stiff and rigid. As you exhale, lift up through your core. Pull. And down. So you should feel lower back, side of the waist and into the front of the bed. But the back is the bit you should feel the most here. Squeeze up. Squeeze. You pull in here. Pull. And then we're going to just lengthen that top side of the body to stretch out and open through that side. Really stretch it out. Tuck your bottom under a little bit. Make sure you're not arching your back. And before we go to the other side, we're going to roll onto the back. We're going to make sure we have a neutral spine, so we have level hips, chin tucked in, shoulder blades sinking into the floor. From here, we're going to see if we can straighten one leg. So you should be fine with one leg, because that's an easy way to find neutral spine. If you can, keep neutral, straighten the other leg, just so we take the hip flexors out of the exercise a little bit. That's the idea of that. Relax your legs, feet and knees hip width apart. Pull up through your core. So behind your belly button, under your rib cage. It's like lifting your heart up slightly. Your rib cage pulls down. So as you lift up through your core, as that goes down, this bit should lengthen up and through the back of your head. And as we do that, we're going to pull here, bottom of the rib cage, keeping the lengthening through the back of the head. So we're kind of locking the head with the rib cage. straight as well. But if you're really feeling that that bit of the exercise arches your back, then you're going to need to bend one leg. So it is about finding what works for you. Exercise exactly the same, just with a different leg position. Now if you find this easy, I want you to stay here. Relax your shoulders. Tuck your chin in, relax your legs, pull up through your core. So you can just hold. And then you're going to have to breathe quite shallow here. If you want to work harder, you can lift the arms. tension under your ribcage. So make sure your core is engaged all the way through, otherwise you're going to feel that your neck's hurting. So keep the chin in. If you feel it at the front, you just need a little bit more core activation, probably more pelvic floor, so you're firing the whole line again. If you feel that your neck is hurting here, you're probably moving your chin before you move here. So remember this is locked together. Pull in, keep that tension. So you can just hold, remember, you don't need to do the arms. If you still want to work harder, stay up. Take the arms back further. Now you do need to breathe. But these are going to be quite small. 
small breaths, quite shallow. You find that's making your neck hurt. Go back to singles. If you like to, you can just have your hands here if that's easy. Keep the shoulders back. And just slide the hands. Let's just have two more. Inhale to prepare. Exhale to engage. to our other side. So again, nice straight line through your body. So remember what we're doing, we're trying to work here, especially around. So if you put your hand like that, where your thumb goes at the back is where you should be working. So as you exhale, lift up through your pelvic floor and your core, pull your hip up your body and release up. and smooth. Inhale to prepare, exhale to engage, draw your hip up your body. Remember you can make the top leg stiff. Basically that means you're going to pull more of the weight of that leg. So because it's rigid it might get lifted up a bit and that means you're going to feel it a bit more in here. If you want to make it harder still, put both legs together. Make them rigid, glue them together. As you breathe out, lift up through your core. Now the more you think feet, the more it will go wrong. The more you pull from the hip, the more you will work these muscles. area now. So you want to lengthen and stretch through. And release off. Lovely. And just to finish, keep your knees wide. Sit back. towards here. Remember, be aware of what your body can and can't do. If something doesn't feel right, it probably isn't. 